there's more to programming than specifying just functions. Data abstractions are also important. Here, by data abstraction, I mean a specification of operations on a set of values. This is similar to what we would have called an abstract data type in 21. For example, we've looked at stacks in the previous week. We know that stacks have push and pop and peak operations. We know what the specification of those operations should be. We don't know, though, what the values of a stack concretely are if we hide them behind an abstract type in a signature. So in OCaml, a data abstraction naturally corresponds to signatures that have abstract types. A data structure is an implementation of a data abstraction using a particular representation type. For example, we implemented list stack, and we did that with alpha list as the type representing stacks. And then we could use other operations with lists to implement the stack operations themselves. So in OCaml, a .ml file or a structure naturally corresponds to a data structure. Let's try building a data abstraction and structure for sets. I've now written a specification for a data abstraction called set. A set is a set of values in the sense of CS2800. I have a representation type for values of that set, alpha t. So set.t is the type constructor for sets, and that's parameterized on a type variable alpha. That type variable alpha is the type of the element in the set. So I could have sets of integers, I could have sets of bools, sets of strings. Empty represents the empty set. I have three operations for size, add, and mem. I've written specifications for each one of those. Size is the number of elements in S, and I've clarified as part of that specification, just in case anyone had a question, that the size of the empty set is zero. Add is a set containing all the elements of S as well as element X. And mem XS is true if and only if X is an element of S. I chose the name mem to be consistent with some of the OCaml standard library data abstractions, which use a similar name. You can see from the type of add that this is a functional data structure. It takes in an old value of a set and returns a new value. It does not destructively update the set.